Okay, so today we're down at uh, Ogmo by Sea. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. Sun is shining, light breeze, perfect fishing conditions. So we've just parked the car up and headed down and put the first cast out. Uh, I've got the uh, new rod with me today, or oh, new to me. It's the Leader Icon M Sport Match. It's a bit lighter than what I normally use. So we'll see how we get on with them today. And um, the setup today is I've got the Tronix Pro bait capsule on, uh, two snoods, and I've got some prawn on to start because everything else is still frozen. So first one's in the water. Uh, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll get a few fish today. If we don't catch any fish, well, it's a gorgeous day to be out. Guys, if you remember Barney, Barney is one of my uh, subscribers on YouTube who I met fly fishing and I took on his first sea fishing trip um, back in the last year. He's been up four or five times since and done really well and, and really enjoying it. So much bloody weed. So much weed. Weed fish, weed fish. Every single cast. Weed fish, weed fish. Pain in the ass. You get to these little fiddly bits, the best thing you can do is pull it tight and just ping them. They normally come off easy enough then. Still a pain in the ass though. Right. And we've still got more to go. A lot more. Pain, but it's not an fishable pain. Right, let's go in on here. Let's go back together. The idea behind it is you put your bait in there. Um, you don't have to use any bait elastic. You don't have to uh, be too fussy with your bait. You just basically head hook it and then it uh, is supposed to act more naturally in the water. So the trace, it's, it's, a, it's a long trace. Um, one on the bottom, yep, tangled up here. The circle up on to fish quite low down, pinned to the bottom. And then I've got one flow in at the top. And I have, which is, the both of them have got two whole circles hooks on it. So we're just going to get this uh, I should do two nice baits. I should. belly side and the silver side here. Belly side and the silver side. And then what we do with the hook is we just hook it once. Like that. And then the idea is it acts all naturally in the water. Same with the other hook. Let's 
getting warm so the baits defrost them quickly so I'm going to get this put back away. And yeah, out of the way. And then all I do with this is I get the bottom one, I wind it up around my hand, get some big knots, so it doesn't get tangled. I'm going to pop that one in, like that, pop the line in behind it, like that, and I do the same with this one. I, I've used this many, many times. I, I can't say that this outfished any other tactic, but I do find it easier. I do. I got helps. Hold on. What have I done there? Nope, I'm going to put that one in too far. That one needs to come up a bit. That's part of the trace. Here we go. There she is. So that is then how she sit. And then when you cast, this hits the water. The water rushes up into the gaps up to the bottom and pushes all the bait out. So we'll go and set that up onto the, uh, onto the stand, ready for the next cast. Try one more time, that's right. Okay, that one went out. A bit better. Let's see if that works. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. It's all going Pete Tong today. Hey, yep, we got a paddle border. I wonder if he knows where the fish is. Because I can't find the buggers. Paul, if you're watching, that'll be you in a few months, paddle in the open ocean. Coming back untouched every time. Yeah, guys, it's just coming up to high tide and we haven't even had a bite. So looks like I've picked wrong again today. Still got a couple of hours fishing left, but it ain't looking too good. I've tried all the baits, a couple of different rigs. I've been out the distance, I've been in close and only weed fish. So, blah. Barney's just setting up a, uh, a spinning rod. He's gonna go and have a go with some lures and see if there's any bass hanging about so fingers crossed he can pick one of them up 
because it doesn't look like the bait is going to give it a go. It looks like the highlight of my day is going to be my KFC on the way home. We've got some weight here, guys. We've got some weight here. So what are we pulling in? Weed, fish, barney. I'm not quite sure. It's coming in. Now it's tapping. It's a tapping. We've got something on the surface. Is it a weed fish? Wonderful. Lots and lots of weed again. On the last cast, uh, it's half past six. And we haven't had a touch. It sucks. But hey, a bad day's fishing is still better than a good day at work in my eyes, so we're not going to complain too much. So I've just put over a. Uh, my last, my last cast, I swapped over to a, a flapper, a free hook flapper with some Muppets on it just to add a bit of attraction um, and some small pieces of mackerel in each, on each one of them. I'm not very hopeful, but you never know. The luck might be on my side with the last cast. Barney's already packing up, so yeah, that's fishing for you guys. That's fishing. Some weight done, guys. Are we speaking a blank on the last cast? We've got a little dog fish here, it's gonna save the day. No, we haven't. Off the I haven't managed to get out this year and the first blank of 2023. Not, uh, not ideal. Certainly not on the back of Lots of different rigs, lots of different baits. I tried worm, macro, sand eel, squid. They didn't want to play. It's a shame, you know. I only wanted a photo, we could have gone back in. But hey, it's been a gorgeous day. I'm gonna pack up now, head to the car, cheeky KFC, because I'm really looking forward to it. I've been on a, a bit of a weight loss um, kick after the scare at the doctors. 
with some high cholesterol and I've been really watching what I eat and cutting down um, but as I'm out on a fishing trip I'm having a, a KFC on the way home I do enjoy a KFC fillet box any of you puts a chicken burger ash brown mayonnaise and lettuce it works for me so hey it's not all bad news so thanks for joining guys and hopefully we'll get out again soon take care